I'll say, y'all, Peace and Palace Santa Six, even though I'm using stage today. <laughs> Hope everybody is doing amazing. Um, it is currently 4.50 a.m. No, I'm not an early bird. I just am a night owl. So this is like night going into the morning. Um, Spirit wanted me or like nudge me to pull from this deck, which I found to be interesting because I don't really ever use this deck. I've had it for a long time, but I just, I don't think I really use it. I don't know if I've ever even used this deck on my channel. And if so, maybe like once. So, I don't know, something needs to come out of here. So we're gonna get it out, okay? All right, Divine Spirit Gods, Angels, Ancestors, Cosmic Family of the Brightest Love, Light, Healing, Prosperity, and Protection. Please give me clear and accurate messages for the collective. What is it that they need to hear the most at this time? Hold on, y'all. I just got a nudge. I just did a personal reading and Spirit is saying clean your space some more. Yeah, Spirit just said clean your space a little bit more. So give me a second, y'all. So sorry. I typically do this off camera but let y'all be here for the process why not it's kind of messed up because i like started I, uh i started using the sage earlier before i got on camera and it like popped and i'm like wearing some jammies that say blow pop y'all i never match at the bottom but i give y'all i typically give y'all a cool top and i just wear anything on the bottom but um yeah it popped and put holes in my blow pop pajamas so i'm really upset the little pieces of sage kind of like stuck onto my jammies and put little holes in them it kind of sucks but anyway <laughs> let's see what's going on right. okay divine spirit gods angels ancestors cosmic family of the brightest love light healing prosperity and protection please give me clear and accurate messages for the collective what is it that they what is it that they need to hear the most at this time please just block out any interferences as i get these messages across and protect my space any dark magic illusion spells confusion spells being sent to me or to the collective and their loved ones i ask that you just return it back to sender magnified and bind it to them thank you so much spirit ashe ashe and ashe Let's see what's going on and why spirit wanted me to use this deck <sighs> all right what is it that the collective needs to hear the most at this time spirit what is it that the collective needs to hear the most at this time Work through your fears and what do you need to release? So you may need to release some type of fears. There may be some type of fear-based thinking that you need to release. We have new moon in Scorpio and wanting moon. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. What do you need to release? Wanting moon. One more spirit. One more for the collective spirit. Some type of fear-based thinking needs to be released. Limited beliefs system. And here somebody could probably have done something like this for a long time. Somebody is their 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 worst enemy, their biggest critic. Show the world the real you. Oh hell no, I'm not taking all of these. Nope. I'm gonna take this one. Because I just got a nudge for this one. Full moon in Aquarius. So work through your fears. What do you need to release? Show the world the real you. There's something that somebody wants to do. 
There's a talent that somebody possesses. A desire that somebody has. And something about way their 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 way of thinking. Um, maybe 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 you did express something that you wanted to do with somebody and they spoke fear into your plans. Maybe you're already a person who's just um, maybe a little bit more shy. It's full moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is the air sign, so this is somebody who is in their head a lot. You could be a you can be a person that's in your head a lot. Okay, but well, let's get the textbook definition. First one we have is work through your fears. Work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. I'm really gonna regret not having my glasses downstairs, but I'm not going upstairs to get them. So, we squinting today, buddy. <laughs> they say that's so bad to do, but whatever. Say so we squinting today, buddy. Alrighty. It says work through your fears. This card suggests a rebirth. Think of your situation as the pho the phoenix rising from the ashes, as the birth, death, excuse me, before we get into this. Please understand that all of my readings are timeless, so they can apply to past, present, or future. These readings may apply to you or someone who's in your energy, knowingly or unknowingly. Please flip and switch the roles as they apply to your situation. <laughs> thank you, thank you, and thank you. All right, but it says this card suggests a rebirth. Think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes, as the birth, death, rebirth paradigm. That's what Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark. It almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns, but it will be the deep, it will be deep and transforming. This card also suggests that if you know you are magical, then this is the time to work your magic. It can also herald the start of a sexier time. Ooh, uh, yes. If you've been experiencing something of a drought and emotion of an emotional intimacy is also on the menu, Scorpio is the sign that likes to go deep into the body mind excuse me that likes to go deep into the body into blah, 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 blah. hello fix my third chakra spirit <laughs> says scorpio is the sign that likes to go deep into the body mind and spirit so when this card comes up there is nothing superficial about what's coming your way attune to the moon have some sexy time show the world the real you y'all i'm hearing something okay this can, and this may just apply to a very small select group of the collective. There is somebody that wants to embrace more of their sexy, sensual side. Um, I'm hearing somebody may be in a very religious family or have a very religious background. I don't know where that came from. That came out the blue spirit through that one in there. So, um... Somebody has a desire maybe to be more sexual, more sensual, or explore more of that side of themselves. But there may be a way of thinking that kind of makes them shy away from that. But then I also heard as well, there may be a person in your energy that needs to be released. That stops you from being, oh that that stops you from um really being comfortable with being in that being in that side of yourself. I don't know why, but when I said a person, I also heard family. There's some there may be somebody in a very relig has a very religious background or family or maybe they just maybe they're not even maybe it's not even religious. They're just very strict or have a very not so open minded view of sexuality and sensuality and maybe you would be you would feel judged in some type of way. So it holds you back from showing the world the real you. So that's that can be for a small select few. For someone else, there is just something about yourself or something that you want to tap into 
that maybe that maybe you're not based off of either a way of thinking that needs to be released, an environment that needs to be released, or a group of people that needs to be released. Okay. It says, additional meanings for this card is it's time to let go of a grudge you're holding. Um, the next meaning is moving on from jealousy. The next meaning is stop being obsessive. The next one is, could it be you're being paranoid? And the last one is make an investment. The teaching, it says Scorpio is the sign of death and rebirth, magic and shamans. Its energy is a little bit dark, occult, even scary. Not all of us like to face the shadow, but Scorpio demands it. In fact, it's through working through your dark side that you can get to the light. And the new moon in Scorpio and the appearance of this card at any other time suggests you need to do that now. So there could also be somebody who has an aspect of themselves, like maybe there's a shadow side. Um, shadow work is what I'm hearing. Maybe there's some type of shadow work that you need to do. Maybe, um, ooh, 11, 11 on the timer, that's a confirmation. <laughs> so there's some type of shadow work that you maybe need to do to go within that may be attached to, somebody is scared. See, sh you know, doing shadow work can be very fearful. I just looked at this word fear and I felt that. Being, doing shadow work can be very scary for some people because it is you looking yourself in the mirror, the parts about yourself that you do not, maybe don't like so much. But I'm hearing every part of you is lovable. Every part of you is to be liked, even the parts of yourself that you may not be the most proud of. I'm also hearing that within this shadow work, somebody is going to face certain insecurities that they have with themselves. insecurities they have with themselves so I, I came i started the reading saying um what the hell was i saying um a way of thinking there's something about a um limited way like a limited belief system or there was another word i used that i can't think of um fear-based thinking i'm feeling like with you doing this shadow work um, you're going to face maybe certain things about yourself, like certain insecurities about yourself that maybe, or just maybe certain stories that you told yourself, I'm not worthy or I'm not beautiful or, um, I'm not sexy. I'm not something. Somebody is telling their self they're not something. Somebody has been like their worst critic, I'm hearing. Shadow work may be needed for you to go through this, you know, death and rebirth. Or maybe this is something that has already happened. This is a timeless reading. So this is something that's already happened. And now you are embracing the more confident and comfortable with your comfortable part of yourself. Next we have is what do you need to release? Fear-based thinking. I don't know why I keep, I just, that's just what I'm hearing. Okay, wanting moon. All right, I'm actually starting to get sleepy now, y'all. I don't know how I managed to just be up until 5 in the morning, but I started getting downloads around 3 or around 2. And then I did like an hour reading, personal reading for one of my friends. The spirit was moving me so much, I just kept going. And then I got done, I was like, oh, but I need to show up for my peeps too. So here we are. Wanting moon, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's that? Okay, here it is. Bear with me, I ain't got no glasses. <laughs> I have no glasses today. It says during the waxing moon cycle, it says, excuse me, th that is not, that is not it. That is not it. I'm so sorry. I said waxy. I do need my glasses because I went to waxing moon, not wanting moon. I'm all messed up, y'all. I'm so sorry because I really don't like having y'all wait. <laughs> Oh, man. 
It's taking me so long to find that I might have to pause the video because I don't want to keep y'all waiting like that. What? Where's that? Is it hiding? Or does that say waxing moon? No, it says morning. God damn it, y'all. Work with me, hold it. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it, 100. That number may be significant to you. <laughs> Let me see. I know I don't ever use this deck on a deck. Okay, it says, what do you need to release? The wanting moon points to what's falling away. Life goes in cycles and sometimes we need downtime or to let go. Oh, no matter when in the moon cycle you pull this card, it's a sign that a situation has peaked for better or worse. And it's time for you to go easier. And it's time for you to go easier. It's the autumn and the winter of the cycle. So what do you need to release? Almost certainly something from the situation you're asking about. This card can be very positive, but it can also be gently suggesting that you let something go and stop trying so hard. So that last card was saying death and a rebirth death and a rebirth so this can be something internally or this could also be something externally for some people i was hearing it was a relationship okay attuned to the moon it is safe to let go and move on yeah for some for a nice large group of people it may be a relationship and working through your fears for somebody may be the fear of somebody could be in a relation, had been in a situation where they've been dealing with somebody for a very long time. And it's almost like you may not even be very happy in this relationship or in this situation. This could be this can this doesn't even have to be a relationship, y'all. This can be a job. This can be a um, this can be an environment, a, a living a living situation, a family dynamic. I'm hearing, but you have done or been a part of this situation, relationship, whatever for so long. Ha pro maybe and maybe not even happy, but just based off of conditioning and routine, and and, and it being maybe something it being all you know that you are afraid of leaving this situation but spirit is saying that bringing death to this situation relationship way of thinking whether this is internal or external is going to be a rebirth of something very beautiful we have to not see what well, we have to look at endings as and it's so hard to say this because i'm not even going to sit here and say this to nobody like this is something easy to do because it's not and i've struggled with this but we have to look at endings as new beginnings for every ending brings a new beginning but a new beginning can never happen if you don't have the ending certain chapters have to be closed out in our lives for a beautiful chapter to begin and this may be the only thing that is stopping you from showing the world the real you maybe you don't know the the happy version of yourself the you living fully in what it is that makes you happy you might not even know that version of yourself. You just know the version of yourself that has just been doing something the same way for so long that you haven't even really got the experience what the real you is. Detached from this situation, person, way of thinking. Okay. So the um, additional meanings for this card is move forward with as little resistance as possible. I feel like that is very, um, I feel like that's one of the ones that's very important to what we're trying to get across, what, what spirit wants to get across. It says, um, 
next the other meaning is this is not a time not the time to start new projects the next one is releasing emotional baggage is rec is recommended now um the next meaning is say sorry to someone the next one is do energetic work such as meditation or yoga and the last one is soon you will see what lies ahead and do you want to know why because we have a death and a rebirth so there's something very beautiful that lies ahead once you close out a particular chapter and that's the death and rebirth that spirit is talking about And you know what? Even though this says work through your fears, I'm hearing this as walking through your fears. Somebody is scared to take a step because it's different, it's foreign, it's outside of their norm. Walk through your fears. Just take the step. I'm hearing take the take the first step and spirit will help will will help you with the next step that you need to take. Just take one step. A teaching it says at the time of the wanting cycle take a moment to look up in the skies every night you will see the moon growing smaller and smaller as she moves from full to new again it's the time when things are falling away it's certainly not the time to cling on to anyone or anything drawing this card suggests your situation is in its autumn and winter phase so hunker down and start the regeneration process. Okay, so boom. You know how like it's the autumn part, right? Oh, y'all think about it. I just seen the, what spirit is trying to say. So you know the autumn process. So it's like, you know how you have these the you know the season of autumn where like now the the trees are turning over from green to all those beautiful colors and then now the leaves have to start falling off somebody is trying to keep life to something that is supposed to die off the death and rebirth It's like no, just keep it green. Please can we just stay in the in the in the season of the birds and the No. Spirit is saying no. It's time to let what needs to fall away fall away. Relationships, situations. It may be scary. It may seem like your world is even falling apart, but ultimately it is to make space for something very beautiful that's supposed to come in, the death and rebirth of something beautiful, of something better. Spare anytime that you lose something, it's gonna, be, especially if it's divinely orchestrated, which, which this is, something more beautiful is being collaborated or the spirit, your spirit guides are collaborating a better plan or something that's more favorable for you. The real you. Not the version of you who lives in fear. Not the version of you who, um, yeah, who who lives in fear of leaving, uh, doing things a certain type of way or doing things one way. The version of you who is free and fully standing in your power and what genuinely makes you happy at a core soul level. All right, full moon in Aquarius. Let's see. One of my favorite signs, if I should say so be myself. I'm not an Aquarius either. I just really like Aquarius. <laughs> um, full moon in Aquarius, 88. Okay. It says, show the world the real you. This card brings a message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping you at arm's length now, but it's not a bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold and progress, even if changes seem like a frightening pro 
prospect. Oh, spirit really wanted. Okay, now I see why spirit wanted me to use this deck. <laughs> Associate. I so see what's going on. Okay, because this is like really resonating. Said, um, anyway, it's saying that it's important for you to allow life to unfold and progress. Even if changes seem like a frightening prospect, I knew it. I knew I was talking to a group of people who have a fear of change, a fear who have done stuff a certain type of way for so long that the idea of doing something different is so foreign to them that it makes them scared and uncomfortable. Said, if you've been holding yourself back from showing the world the real you, this card reminds you that your unique characteristics are what make you special. In a relationship, are you being aloof or detached? Go ahead and be yourself in whatever is coming up for you. Attune to the moon. Be aware of your feelings, but also be prepared to move on. Additional meanings for this card. Don't lose the beauty of romance, the beauty and romance of life. The next meaning is you are too much in your head. Get into your heart. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That fear-based thinking. That's the one. That's the that's the additional meaning for this card that needs. Um, yeah. That really needs to be like honed in on. And then the last the the last meaning here is saying a situation is going to take a very unexpected turn. What I'm hearing for hearing right now is spirit is saying to just release the need to control the situation because I'm hearing you're not gonna have any control over what's gonna happen next. Like things that are gonna fall like like I said, if it's divinely orchestrated, you can try to hold on to it if you want to. Spirit is going to rip it away. The universe is going to rip it away because it is meant to happen for a purpose and a reason. You just, it may not be clear to you yet, but that's what's happening. So I'm, I'm talking to some people who are already in this season or for in some people, this is a, this is a warning, a heads up as to what is to come. The last assess the teaching. It says every full moon is a time to release and let go. But the addition of Aquarian of Aquarian in energy to mix triples to mix triples that message. Wow. Aquarian is the opposite of clingy. And pulling this card at any time suggests either you need to let go or someone is thinking they are the ones who need to let go. Perhaps of you. What needs to go? What is the right thing to do? Whatever happens next could be highly unconventional or unexpected. So rather this is you. So I'm hearing for somebody, this may be a situation, right? Where it's either you. No, it doesn't even have to be. You may be contemplating to end something or to... No, maybe maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Right? But ultimately, there is something that needs to change. There is something that needs to come, that needs to, come to an end so, it, so something new can come in. And what I'm hearing is the best thing you could do is to get ready to release it to start to detach from it now because it's going to be det like even okay say for example that this situation is a job for some people okay and maybe you've been going back and forth of should i like i need to i need to detach from this situation but i mean i'm just comfortable here i've been here x amount of years i mean this is all i know so i'm just gonna see it through Something at 29, 29 on the timer, something is going to happen where they're going to let you go. Basically saying, start detaching now because the universe is going to come and intervene and rip it away anyway, because it is meant to get out of the way to make space for new relationship. Rather, this is internal or external. Yeah. Yeah. Start detaching from it now. If it's a way of thinking, start detaching from that way of thinking now. Because you're going to be forced to have to do it anyway. 
but understand i know like for some people that this is scary as shit it sounds scary as hell this is not the message to people that somebody wants if they're comfortable being comfortable or being content in their situation but I really don't feel like it's a contentment because it's not the real you. It's the programmed, I've done this a certain way so long version of you. It's not the happy version of you. Spirit is saying what I'm about to do for you next is gonna genuinely make you happy. What I'm about to do for you next is going to allow you to see what the happy version of you looks like, what the real you looks like. You know, one thing I noticed, and I used to say to, I say to myself, like when, like I have like a week or maybe like like some days where I'm just not feeling. I might be feeling a little moody. Like I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to talk to nobody. Um, I don't really want to get out the bed. That is not the real me. Like the angry, depressed, unmotivated, don't want to leave the house, don't want to get dressed in little cute version of me. That's not the real me. The happy version of me, that's the real me. That's the version of me that is, that's the real me. Anything outside of that is not the real me. Don't get me wrong. Do we have angry sides in it? Yeah, but the happy side of me, that's the real me. And that's what I'm hearing for somebody. The real you is the happy you. But you may not know it because you've been in this box, so to speak, that you may have created for yourself. At some point, it turns into one that you've created for yourself because you are the author of your own story. And you can rewrite it whenever the hell you choose to. If tomorrow I want to be something different, then I can fucking do that. Who the hell is going to tell me I can't? It's my life. You know? <laughs> you know? So, yeah, this has been your your reading collective. I hope it resonated. If so, please just like, comment, and subscribe. It is just a beautiful way to energetically donate back to my channel. But until next time, peace out, and I love y'all.